Little wonder why the youths of Nigeria had not taken the back seat this time around in the political space of Nigeria because Nigeria's call they must obey come 2019 general elections for a greater Nigeria they have always envisioned. Going by the numbers, as of 2018, the estimated population of the country, Nigeria, is over 195.88 million and with more than half its people under 30 years of age. A few months ago, the not-so-young-to-run bill was passed and signed into law. Initiator and convener of the not-so-young-to-run movement, Samson Itodo organized a town hall meeting on Thursday in Abuja, a second in its series, appreciating the passage of the not so young to run bill into law. A few months ago, Nigeria made history by writing its name in gold um, through the passage and the signing into law of the not too young to run bill which reduces the age for the president from 40 to 35, for the State House of Assemblies from 30 to 25, the House of Reps from 30, the House of Reps from 30 to 25. And we believe that that amendment has opened up the political space for young people. But post the passage and the signing into law of that amendment, young people are confronted with challenges. Um, within the political parties. Today, political parties have published their party nomination, the cost of their nomination forms. Um, some have also published their guidelines. But one of the greatest challenges that young people are facing, young aspirants are facing, is the cost of nomination forms. Um, today as well, a lot of young people are becoming victims of the autocratic and the undemocratic disposition of leadership of political parties across the country. Today, we've got young people who, inspired by the Not Too Young to Run movement, are unable to purchase forms because they are not products of stakeholder consensus primaries that are conducted before the actual party primaries. Today, a lot of young people who want to buy forms are either asked to get approval from state governors or approval from government houses before forms are being sold to them. And as a movement, we believe that this in itself is a huge challenge for our political process in addition to the high cost of nomination forms, which for us as a movement, we consider very, very exploitative. And it's against this background that we're convening the series of dialogues with political parties for our young aspirants who are in the room to engage with leaders of political parties and extract commitments from political parties to take intentional steps to open up the space by ensuring first they reduce the cost of nomination forms as well as ensure democratic um, party primaries. And that's why we are here today. And we are glad that we've got representatives of political parties um, in the room. This started last week with the PDP. Um, today we are meeting with other political parties. The last in this series will be the All Progressive um, Congress, which we all know has the highest in terms of the cost for nomination forms. And we are engaging with the leadership of the APC to reduce the cost for, of its nomination forms. But we want to welcome you especially um, on behalf of the movement and say it's great to see um, these faces. But before I conclude, it's important to thank old Nigerians, especially Nigerian youths, who have made this possible. Because the Not Too Young to Run is about the Nigerian youth, and the success that we celebrate is the success of the Nigerian youth. He emphasized that the movement is non-partisan. Is a non-partisan adventure, and we as a movement have said, and will continue to say, that we do not endorse candidates. We are a non-partisan movement, committed to the defense of democracy and the promotion of political inclusion as well as transformative leadership. Last week, um, an ugly incident happened, and as you know, we have dissociated ourselves um, from that. We want to say to the Nigerian people, to Nigerian youth and all those around the world, 
that this movement remains committed to its core foundation, and which is youth inclusion, transformative leadership, as well as democratic, democratic civic participation. The leaders of different political parties were engaged in a conversation at the town hall meeting Thursday while being asked what they are doing to encourage youth participation or youth candidacy. My name is Brian Doro once again, the National Leader of Young Democratic Party. We're ready to give their services. We have published our list of, um, of uh, nomination forms and I have it here. 30,000 for councillors, 80,000 for chairmen, uh, 120,000 House of Assembly, 255,000 reps, 605 Senate, 1.2 million governorship, and 6 million for presidential. And we will give concession for anybody who walks up to the party and has the capacity, shows the capacity that he can move a crowd but does not have the money. We will listen to you, we will back you up, we will give you that. Uh, Alliance for New Nigeria uh, is a party that was born out of uh, genuine desire, passion to see a greater and better Nigeria. Showed us that more than 70% of that population comprises of Nigerian youth who have lost interest, who are not interested, and who are also being systematically disenfranchised by the system. So we took it upon ourselves to use ourselves as magnets to attract those set of uh, uh, Nigerians to pay for more attention to the Nigerian political process. And by the grace of God, as we speak today, Alliance of Nigeria has uh, uh, members in every set of the federation, including the FCT. And we have physical presence in all of those states. In fact, from some information we're getting from INEC, they rate us as the fastest growing young new party in Nigeria. In fact, the only active new party in Nigeria. Now, it will interest you to know, sure, it will it interest you to also know that 90% of our members are 30 years and below. 70% have never been involved in political space before. So we have, or not, or not, we're not even preaching. We are already a youth-oriented party. We have our, amongst our air school, national air school, we have people that are below the age of 35. In the States, most of our chairmen are in, in that age bracket. But more importantly, these people are capable, are competent, and ready to serve. My name is Suleiman Usman Yusuf. I'm the acting national chair of youth party. Of course, uh, we always see shape the future. Um, talking about our provision for the youths, I don't know of any political party that has a national chair that is as young as myself. This is to tell you that uh, our party was founded by the youths and it is being run by the youths. Um, uh, we have published uh, the prizes for our nomination and uh, let me, I, I want to tell you that we have the cheapest, uh, so far we are the cheapest. Uh, presidential is two, 2 million, governorship is uh, 1 million, and uh, uh, Senate 800,000, reps 400,000, state assembly is 200,000, and uh, uh, Okay, I think uh, 200,000 and uh, FCT is uh, 25,000. Now, uh, the youth party, like I said, represents uh, the creativity, innovation, and uh, the strength that is associated with the youths. Uh, we believe in uh, politics of reason and reform as against anger and populism. So, my name is Musa Gabam the National Secretary of SGP. Our youth leader is that one years old, he's here with us. Also, uh, we currently, just to go straight to the point, we have a very young chap who have collected a form to run for Senate. 
His name is uh, Osundara Benga. He's uh, 35 years old. Our state houses of assembly prizes are from 600 to 300,000 naira, state houses of assembly. And the House of Reps, we brought it down from 2 million to 1 million naira. And then the Senate from 3 million to 2.5 million naira. Then the governors is 5 million naira. And of course, the presidency is 11 million naira, which includes the expression of farmers. My name is Dr. Olusheku Ijagbebi, the acting national chairman of Justice Most Prevail Party. I'm a retired diplomat, future, because of time. This party is registering people for the presidency at 500,000 only. And uh, it goes down up to uh, 100,000 for. Uh, for a councillor. The only thing that differentiates this party from other parties is that you cannot steal one error from, from this party. If you are a member of this party, if you steal from one error and above, you are a dead man. You have to swear that you will not steal from one error and above. So we live by 12 pillars of oath. We use the oath to also select our, our, our youth. Our youth is not selected by the chairman or the executives in Abuja. They are selected by a college of Olympic uh, in which, uh, 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 panelists, you know, we call them the wise men. It is the wise men that will produce the councillors, the governors, not anybody in Abuja. Are we and they talking will produce... about your party primaries yes. process? Our party primaries will be based on the, the decision of the wise men. You will present your manifestos to the wise men. So it's not a question of having money. You present your manifesto. What do you want to do? How are the wise men selected? The wise men are selected three from each uh, senatorial district across the whole nation. And so we are going to uh, elect people of knowledge, people of this time around, not less than 60 years. But uh, our candidates already, you have the figure in terms of the age, 30 years, 35, you can become president. You know, so this is how Nigeria will be built, not by people who know someone, Thank but you. by your competence. I'll wrap very quickly. Um, First of all, uh, our party, we don't have any youth uh, leader because everyone is meant to be a youth. Um, one of the oldest people in the party as a national chairman, I'm 46, going to be 47. Um, however, what we do is we ensure everybody is mainstreamed. Many of our state chairmen are below 35, many. Ogun State, Sokoto State, Bauchi State, um, or even, even uh, and then, of course, we also competed in... Uh, Make it a state with a 48-year-old man. Um, and also, we're going into a good state for someone who's about 41. And also, in you know, your state, that we have two aspirants who are below 42. Um, that said, our, 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 our rate uh, for the um, nomination fees is quite, is quite low. I think it's going to be the second lowest year today. I heard someone say they take 500,000 for presidency. Uh, we take 1.5 1 million for presidency, governor 1 million. Senate 750, House of Rep 400,000, House of Assembly 200,000, LG Chairman 100,000, Council of 50,000, but sometimes we, we waive that if they can show performance. Um, so, so basically, uh, and then in terms of our um, primaries, uh, we have it embedded in our, in our culture and in our constitution, all internal election, including primaries, will be by option A4. You queue behind your man. And every member of the party who is a paying member and is only 3,000 Naira per annum, 3,000 Naira per annum is what you need to be a member. And, you know, every member can vote. As a matter of fact, we're also exploring um, electronic voting where necessary. So we have actually mainstreamed this party for the party, I mean, for the youth of this country. Uh, and aside from that, again, I'm going to chip in that I wonder many times why many people belly ache over some of the two parties. And I'm going to say very quickly also that NTYTR, led by my amiable friend, um, you sh I don't know why you separated PDP and APC from this state. We're all level. And what my party is doing is that we're actually taking them to court and asking them to be delicensed for perennial vote buying and corrupting of the electoral process. And we're going to pursue that to the furthest limit. So I don't see why we have to take APC differently, PDP differently, we're all level. And you know, so that's, that's the way forward. Anybody who is treated like rubbish in any of these parties, either disenfranchised when on your right, or you know, they use the high heavy fees 
to, 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 to take you out of the system or some men, especially men, I'm, I'm not talking about the wise men now, but you know, or some men gather somewhere and say you can't be what you want to be, come to here. My name is Comrade Ngem Okando, the SA to the National Chairman of African Democratic Congress on Political Matter. Um, ADC came as a result of the fact that people came, that they found that there is a need for us to build a modern, model African nation. That was why ADC came to be. And it's not just about the nomination forms, it's not just about how to make you to participate. We are the only political party in Nigeria that is running a campaign against vote buying and electoral malpractice, where we have what we call coalition for electoral integrity, C4E integrity, which was then launched in Sheraton Hotel in August 2018. Because it's not just about the forms, how about the actual electoral process? If, even, if you, even if you got a form free of charge, how are you going to convince the electorate? So we are taking it to the, to the street, we're taking it to the states to make sure that people will campaign against electoral, electoral buying and vote buying. That's what the African American Congress is going to do. And people living with disability, the special interest form is optional. So for women, it is free in ADC, and for people living with disability, it's also optional. Now, in terms of the party primary, every politics is local. As a party, we are going to adopt the two systems of either direct primary or indirect primary, depending on the locality. Our special interest form, for just for purpose of knowledge, for House of Assembly is 450,000. House of Representatives is 1 million. And Senate is 2.5 million. For Governor is 6 million. And for the President is 12 million. But even at that, even at that, we are giving 50% for people under 40. That means if you're contesting for House of Assembly, you will definitely have to pay like 225,000 for House of Assembly. Like if, um, the SDP man say, politics is about funds. There are a lot of things to do with funds. Aspirants present at the town hall meeting organized by the Not Too so Young to Run movement. Had this to say. My, my name is my name is Tope Fashua. Um, um, I'm a presidential aspirant on ANRP. That's Abundant Nigeria in World Party ANRP. That's a computer party. Anywhere you see a computer, that's us. You know. So and then that tells you our take on the youth because we decidedly chose a computer to be our logo because we believe that the youth will be able to identify with that. Anyone without a computer now, you either a smartphone or a computer, you, are, you don't exist these days. You know. And so we're really mainstreamed. Uh, to the youth and because of that okay um, and because of that what we've done we've made it easy for the youth to join us to join online and all our processes are transparent you know all our internal elections are option a4 you see it's right there you know and also we're working on an e-voting system uh, that we can use uh, within the party and of course our fees are really actually this evening you can see that we had the lowest actually the lowest the only other party that said they use 500,000 for presidency are the ones that said they signed a debt covenant I don't know if you heard that, right? In 100 days, in 100 days, I'll take 10 million people out of poverty by serious economic policy, by rearranging the finances of this country, by ensuring we cut a lot of the excesses around government. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go after our money. That's one of the things, though. You know. But the way you can actually move forward is either you're increasing your revenue or you're reducing your expenses. What you can do immediately is to reduce the expenses in government, you know. Uh, aside from that, what we intend to do is to mainstream, um, you know, the youth of this country. There's a lot of jobs available, even in the government sector, for the youth of this country, especially like in the environmental sector, like in, like in the mobilization, for example, the NOA can be re-energized and people can go out, you can pay the youth for work done. We're not going to be sharing money for nothing like some of these guys are trying to do, like with their bachelor loot. No, there's no need for that. In fact, it's very wasteful to do that. And there's work to be done in this country and the youth of this country are waiting to be engaged. We're going to mainstream employment. We have a lot of great ideas that we're coming with. We intend that this economy should be able to grow by 15 to 20 percent yearly. That's very important. Take over, over the period of, of, of four years, you're able to look at taking 50 million people out of poverty and doubling the GDP. Party structuring is about the grassroots because that's what you have, the multiplicity of membership. And I feel that because we are reaching out to the young people who have the majority of the PVCs, the participation and membership of political parties should start from the grassroots. So I believe in more orientation and sensitization of the parties, perhaps 
the language of locals, which the rural areas understand, should begin where they should begin. For instance, APC has umbrella, PDP has um, APC has groom, PDP has umbrella. Action Alliance, for instance, has a circle with a star in it, which means a, a party that stands out. Now, when I did my campaign, what I realized is that when I was mentioning my party, they didn't understand the name. They were asking me for my logo. So it is critical to understand that because of literacy level, languaging and messaging pictures work better for local participants who want to get into politics, yes. So I think that there should be a mass sensitization of political parties at the grassroots to win over the youth population so that they become mainstream in the policy decisions of the political parties as members. That way the trickle effect will be that the effects will come to the state and then to the center. We're all Nigerians. Yes, thank you. The reason why is, yes, I'm from the Yes Party. Uh, yes Party is Yes Electoral Solidarity solidly put together for the emergence of youth and good leadership. When we started, actually, the name of the party was Youth and Elders Solidarity, because we absolutely believe that to move Nigeria forward, we need our elders. And to gain the vote, you need the youth. Somehow, we end up being the Yes Electorate Solidarity. Why? Because we need to form a solidarity to move this country forward. It is hoped that the youth will not be referred to as the leaders of tomorrow, like it used to be, but leaders of today. Toy Ajaluri, on Duty TV, Abuja.